Hey everyone, what's up? We are back again for another episode of What's Cooking. So the weather cooperated with me today and it's cold and wet and windy and gross outside and it's the perfect weather for soup, which is what happened to be on the menu for tonight. So tonight we are making a roasted garlic mushroom and barley stew. Um, it is a vegan recipe, but I'm gonna add some beef to it because we like meat in this house, so we want some meat in there. So the first thing that I'm going to do, actually, um, the garlic has to be roasted for about 30 to 40 minutes. So all I did is take this bulb of garlic and I cut the top off. So you can see, kind of, there you go, the little, the tops of the cloves in there. So we're going to take that and we're just going to drizzle it with about two teaspoons of olive oil, like right on top of there, just to cover all that up nicely with oil and then we're going to just put a little salt and pepper on that and then we're just going to put that right in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes until it's like really brown and soft i also have half a cup of barley in here with three quarter cups of water um i don't have the quick cooking barley i just have the regular barley so that takes like 40 minutes to cook so i'm going to parboil it which is just partially cooking it and then it will cook the rest of the way in the soup afterwards so I'm just gonna let that go for probably about 15 to 20 minutes depending I'll just keep checking it once the water is um, absorbed I'll just let it sit aside until I'm ready to make the soup so my garlic is ready to go into my oven 400 degrees 30 minutes and when that's done I'll be back to all right so my barley is parboiled and it's just gonna hang out on the stove until I'm ready to put it in the soup Garlic is still in the oven. It's got probably five or so minutes left to go. I just checked it after a half an hour and it still needed a little more time. So I'm just gonna let that hang out in the oven because I don't quite need it yet. And I'm gonna start making the soup. So, like I said before, I'm adding beef to this soup. Even though it is a vegan soup, I'm gonna add the beef. So I'm gonna do that first. I've got about a pound and a half of uh, lean ground beef and I am going to cook that in my pot here with one onion that I'm going to dice up and then I've got four carrots and some celery probably four or five stalks they're all different sizes and then I have uh, 16 ounces of baby bella mushrooms you can use any combination of mushrooms you want I just chose to use these because I like them the most and then I've got some seasonings and I'm going to use beef broth um, so first thing I'm going to do is get my onion cut up and brown it in the pan with the beef and then drain that grease off and then I'll be back to show you the rest. All right, so my beef and onions have been sauteed and browned and I've drained all of the grease except for about a teaspoon because that way I don't have to add any other oil to cook the vegetables in there too. So I've diced up my carrots and celery and all my mushrooms and I'm gonna put that in here and it'll be a miracle if I can get it all in here without dropping any. So we will see. And then we're gonna cook this down for about five to six minutes, just until the mushrooms start to release their juices and start to shrink down a little bit. Uh, with the beef being in there already, it may take a little longer, so we're just gonna kind of keep an eye on it and check it along. <coughs> and while that's going, I'm gonna show you the dog barking. Here's the garlic after it's been roasted and you can see that it's like really sweet and it's brown on the top. So once the vegetables have cooked down, we're going to squeeze these garlic cloves into the pot. This is real life in my house. Welcome to it. Okay, so my mushrooms have cooked down with the rest of the vegetables. I've got my garlic. I'm going to squeeze them until these little cloves pop out and put them right into the pot. I pulled off some of the outer layer just so that doesn't crumble and get in there. So we're just going to squeeze these cloves out and into the soup mixture. They're really soft and it's a very good idea to make sure that you let this cool down a little bit before you start squeezing them out or you're going to burn your fingers. Mine is actually still a little warm and it's been out for a bit. So we're going to pull that off. There we go. Just wipe my fingers off and then stir this around in here. And if some of that paper did come off in there, that little shell on the 
garlic. You can just pick that out and throw it away. So that's getting mixed in and then we're going to add our broth. So this is four cups of broth. If it looks a little light at the end, I may add a little more or just some water since I am adding ingredients to what they the normal recipe had. So I'm just going to add all of this broth in here. And then we're going to add our seasonings and our barley and then we're going to cover it and just let it cook until the barley is all the way soft. So then we're going to add some soy sauce. I'm probably putting in about a tablespoon. I don't know what the recipe says. And then apple cider vinegar. A couple teaspoons probably. Salt and pepper. That also I will adjust at the end. Um, I just do a couple of good shakes. There is salt in the broth, so you probably don't need a ton. Again, check it at the end and then see if you need to adjust your seasonings. And then we're going to add in some dry thyme. If it wants to come out, it just be easier to do this. And some rosemary. And then I'm going to grab my hot pad and we're going to put the barley in. So you can see it's puffed up quite a bit, but it's still kind of hard. So that's why we're going to add that in now. And then we're going to bring our soup to a boil. And then once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat, cover it, and simmer it until the barley is all the way soft. Probably another 15 minutes or so. So I'm just going to turn the heat up until this comes to a boil. Stir it all around in there. And then once it's done cooking, it'll be time to eat. That's it.